Welcome everybody to our Yogurt Rocket Yoga practice. My name is Joanna. So Rocket Yoga is a quite strong dynamic yoga practice. So I would like you to uh, join me only if you are already a yoga practitioner. It's going to be quite strong, advanced level. Uh, if you don't feel like you can watch it and see what modification you can take. Also, um, I would like you to create a space around you, either having a mat or just using the surface which is convenient for you. Make sure that you've got space around you so you are not going to bump into anything. And you want to find a quiet place for yourself to practice with me. And uh, I would like to uh, also um, encourage you to join me for the workshop today workshop which i'm organizing on the wednesday next and the following week 60 minutes each uh, it's a yoga lattes um, practice we are going to uh, find a way how to manage our covid19 lockdown through mindfulness and mind body practices we're gonna work on the breathing uh, to enhance our um, lungs capacity as the respiratory system now is very important due to the coronavirus so you can join me for this workshop is completely free if you want to you can register with me you can find the information on my instagram flowmove or my website flowmove.eu and this is definitely going to be practice accessible to everybody so let's start now from a comfortable seated position you can take a cross leg seated pose so you can have your legs extended flesh glutes out of your seat bones place hands on top of your knees and move your body from side to side just allowing your body to relax it's release its tension completely from the top of the head all the way down to the seat bones you can close your eyes to deepen the experience just letting go of any tension from the top of the head through your shoulders, down through your hips, knees, and feet. And taking a moment in stillness, allowing for the melting sensations from the top of your head down to your feet, lengthening spine up through your head. Taking a deep breath in through your nose, uh, through your mouth, repeat it three more times, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, after the next out breath, we're going to hold the breath as long as we can, inhale, Exhale, hold the breath. Don't let it go when you feel like Returning back to your normal breath. Just notice how is your breath. And how you feel overall. Place hands at the heart center in the prior position and set up intention for this session for you today. What's the reason of you being here on the mat? Either you want to look after your body and mind, improve your physical and mental health, or maybe there are certain parts of your body you want to make feel better and stronger, or maybe you want to Focus on the mind 
and to mindful practice. Whatever comes to your mind, set up intention for this class today. We are going to open practice with three arms. Let's start together. Inhaling, exhaling. Oh. You can breathe your normal breath, or you can breathe Ujjayi breath, the ocean sun breath. The breath feels like the, uh, the throat feels as it was restricted as you breathe in and out. So you're breathing through the back of the throat. So feel free to use the breath which is suitable for you during the practice. Open your eyes if they were closed. Reach up through your hands. Inhale. And exhale. Send hands to your heart center. I'm going to roll over our knees and find all fours. Going to the center of our mats. Thumbs under your shoulders. Knees underneath our hips. Draw navel in towards your back. Find your curve in the back in cut stretch. And then drop hips down, open chest up, look up. Inhale, exhale, cat. And inhale, cat. And repeat it three more times to warm up your body. Keep crossing down through your hands firmly to the ground, lengthening your arms, shoulders away from your ears. Find neutral spine, extend one leg back, tuck toes under, press down. Feel opening in the back of your leg and strengthening in your arms. Lower your knee down and extend the over leg back. Pressing down. Extending both legs, tabletop, um, high plank. So your hands are in line with your shoulders. Legs are hip width distance. Long neck. Look ahead and down. And move forward and back. Balancing on your toes. So your hips are staying still instead of going up and down. Keep your hips still in line with your shoulders and heels. Now you can start lifting one leg off the ground. Maybe flexing and pointing foot if you want to articulate your foot. Lowering foot down and reversing, lifting up the over leg. And lowering foot down. We're going to push hips up into downward facing dog. Find the legs hip width distance, arms shoulders distance. Draw shoulders back, tuck chin in. Feel lengthening the back of your legs as you press down to your heels. Feel lengthening of your spine as you draw navel in towards your back and find a nice space in your neck as you draw shoulders back. Spread toes and fingers out. I'm gonna rise up on toes and move hips forward. Go back to down dog and go to plank. Inhale, thumbs in line with your shoulder. Exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, curl your spine long. Exhale, down dog. And plank. And down dog. As we go to plank, you can have your knees grounded or lifted. We're going to go for press hops. Inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Gonna stay here with hips down and lowering hips down, open your chest up. Interlace fingers behind you, push arms away from you, open chest up, lift legs up off the ground. Pushing away with your arms, with your legs. And bend your legs and maybe sending hands to your ankles, lifting feet off the ground, legs in, maybe rocking front and back. Legs or point your feet, finding the center. Inhale, exhale, bringing knees together, heels to buttocks, press with your hands. Onto your feet, onto your glutes. Inhale, release feet down. Exhale, open chest up. In up dog, shoulders down. Move your hips from side to side. Find the center. Inhale, look up. And exhale, take a child's pose. Push hips all the way back to your heels. Then move your hips from side to side. And you can also rotate your wrist. And relax. With the next in-breath, look ahead and dive into Cobra. Shoulders away from your ears. Make way to up dog. Exhale. Keep your knees lifted over the ground. Tilting, toes are pointing out and you look towards one shoulder and look towards the other shoulder and then repeat it with one leg rise and do the same on the other side one more time find the center look up inhale and exhale you can have your toes pointed or flexed you're gonna push hips up into down dog and down into up dog yeah so you can have your toes pointed as well going up to down dog and down to up dog find your way i'm gonna repeat it twice more inhale down exhale up Going down to up dog, and then gonna go to downward facing dog. Reorganize your body, walk legs few inches ahead towards your hands, draw shoulders back, rotate head from side to side. And incorporate a walk on spot, alternate your heels rises, Release heels down. Reach up with your right leg all the way up to the sky. Rotate your top hip, point toes up, bend your top leg. Gonna rotate your hip all the way around to open it as much as you can. And reverse. The other way around. Now you can start bringing knee to chest and power reach up, rotate, knee to chest and up, rotate, knee to chest. 
we are going to release foot down in between our hands front leg is bent 90 degrees angle reaching up with your arms into high lunge and lowering the back knee down lifting up lowering down lifting up you can incorporate movement of your hands going down and up with your arms down up down up now you hold your high lunge even up your way to cross the whole body and stretch your front leg and bend as you stretch you lower hands down as you bend you lift arms up and stretch and bend and stretch and bend hold the position we're going to reach forward with our arms and lift our back leg up so you're gonna come up to warrior three you can have your hips square palms by your hips or in plane you're gonna bend your supporting leg and stretch and bend hands go forward stretch hands go back bend stretch bend stretch now you're gonna release hands down towards our supporting leg taking standing split head goes towards our standing leg you bring your top knee to chest and reach up and knee to chest and up and knee to chest and up hold your leg lifted move weight forward draw shoulders back away from your ears inhale look up as you exhale right hand on the mat reach up through your left hand you are in half moon pose you can bend up leg hold it with your top hand open hip out heel to buttock knee to chest extend your leg back release hand down now you lower your back leg down you are in pyramid position hips are square hands beside your front leg and the back heel is lifted inhale as you exhale release head down Inhale, look forward as you exhale, bend your front knee, release back knee down. And rest your right hand on top of your front knee, release back toes down, open your right hip, right knee to the side. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, as you exhale, your left hand is inside of your front leg, you're in high lunge. Reach up with your right hand. Twisted high lunge, inhale and exhale, step your front leg back, push hips up, back arch, and lower hips down. Reach up, inhale down, exhale up, hold and breathe. Can stay here or you can make your way to all fours. Both hands are on the floor, both feet are on the floor, legs are hip with distance, arms, shoulders distance. You can rock front and back, balancing on your feet and hands. And distributing weight forward towards your arms. As you push towards your arms, you can try to lift one leg up. Lowering down, lifting up the upper leg. Lowering foot down. You can also walk your feet forward. Stretching legs. Arching back. Relaxing head down. Feet together. Arms extended. Push hips up. Open heart up. 
work feet towards you inhale exhale lift your right arm up and come to three leg jump with your right leg rise Good. we're gonna find transition to cobra or up dog you can keep your top leg lifted or you can lower it down so if you lower it down you go through chaturanga plank and then cobra or up dog or you keep your right leg lifted keep it up in the air as you find transition open up your heart in up dog and rest in child's pose push hips back to your heels reach forward through your arms lift heels of your palms up and rest head down let the energy settle it's quite intense dynamic practice to increase your heart rate so then you can cool down and bring the balance to your nervous system. Releasing hands down. You can rotate wrists in both ways to release tension of your wrist. Relax. Look ahead, dive into cobra, see in here. In can go to up dog with hips lifted remember shoulders are always away from your ears instead of coming up they go down exhale down dog so we're gonna lift our left leg up to the sky you can open your hip distribute weight evenly across your back and arms point up toes and bend your top leg and start rotating your hip in one way and the opposite way now you can start drawing knee to chest in one leg plank reaching up three leg dog rotating your hip and standing towards your chest and again, reaching up, three leg dog, rotate knee to chest, hold and breathe. Rest foot down in between your hands, lengthen spine through your head. High lunge, lift your upper body up, hands on top of your front side. Reach out with your arms. Lower knee down and rise and lower and rise. Now, gonna incorporate our arms, releasing them down and lifting up. And hands go down and up. High lunge, a quest jump. High lunge, hold your high lunge, reach out with your arms. And stretch your front leg and bend. Stretch, lowering hands down, bend, lifting up and stretch and bend and stretch and bend. Hold your high lunge, lean forward and stretch your front leg. Keep your hips square, top heel lifted, release head down. Bend your front leg, reach forward with your arms, inhale and exhale. Lift your back leg up, come up. Gonna take warrior three, we are on our standing leg, hips are square, right leg is extended. Now, you can have thumbs at the heart center in prayer or in play. Bend supporting leg and stretch and bend. So hands travel front and back and front 
and back. Now we're gonna dive into our forward bend. We go for standing split pose. Hands are supporting you down on the floor, head to knee. You can rest left hand on the left corner of your mat and reach out with your right hand in half moon pose. Gaze up. You can also bend top leg, hold with your top hand, push leg away from you. Bring heel to bottom, knee to head, head to knee. And extend leg back. Back to standing split, place your weight forward. Inhale, look forward, exhale, lower top leg down, back to high lunge. Lower back knee down, release toes down, open your left knee to your left side. Look over your left shoulder, release hips down. Uh, look ahead, go back to high lunge, reach out with your left hand, twisted high lunge, gaze up. Inhale, exhale, step your left leg back, push hips up, back arch. Lower hips down and reach up and down. Inhale, exhale up. Stay here in your back arch. You can also walk to wheel pulse. If you have done it on one side, you want to do it on the other side as well. Even in the wheel pulse, it's the same on both, just the transition matters. Arms, shoulders, distance, legs, hip width distance. You can walk feet in and lift one leg up at a time. The same on the other side. You can stretch your legs, point your toes, pressing down through your feet, pressing down through your hands, relaxing head down. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna walk head, feet towards us. And then you lift your left hand up and go to three leg dog with left leg right. Find transition to cobra or up dog on one or both legs. Open heart up, inhale. Exhale, resting child's pose. Push hips back. Release head down. Rotate your wrists. Release hands and bring them beside your body. You can interlace fingers over your back, lifting arms up, sending hips forward, pressing down through the top of your head. So clasping hands together. Engaging your center, pressing down through the crown of your head, feel that massage in your head, feel that stretch in your shoulders, arms, back. Inhale and exhale, resting your buttocks on top of your heels, relaxing hands beside your body and taking rest in child's pose. Returning gradually back to your normal breath. Allowing the heart rate to come back to neutral. Inhale, as you exhale, draw you in towards your back and roll spine up vertebra by vertebra. Come up to kneeling pose. Close your eyes. Lengthen spine through the crown of your head. Reach out with your hands to the ceiling. Open your eyes. Once in the prayer, inhale, 
and exhales, enhance your heart center. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you for staying with me during the practice. I will see you on Sunday, this Sunday at 11.20 for 30 minutes mat pilates practice. So watch it on Instagram. Also, uh, it's gonna be recorded on the YouTube. You can check it out. And um, my YouTube channel is Flow Move. And also if you are an artist and interested in performing art, I set up the virtual social arts festival, which we've been running for the last two years. This is the third edition, but the first online. So if you are interested, you can check out information on socialartsfestival.com, uh, take a virtual part. So the applications deadline is on the 16th of April and the social arts festival happens uh, in the middle of May from the 15th until 17th. That is a free non-for-profit fundraising event and it's uh, of course raising awareness of um, situation we are living a COVID-19 crisis. So if you want to join as an artist or so you want to join as an audience member, you can register uh, and book your place and also send the application if you want to perform. Socialartsfestival.com. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming to this session and I will see you on Sunday, hopefully 11.20. Namaste. And happy Easter.